I'm Nick Johannesson, host of Gomology Podcast and writer of the Loose Death Blog, and uh, host of this little channel about jackets and stuff. Now, if there's one brand it's a bit hard to miss, if you're talking about British outerwear at least, it's Barber. And today's Barber is something a little special. Now, Barber do a lot of collaborations, design collaborations mainly, with, well, nowadays pretty much anyone who comes knocking on their door. And, uh, well, to my mind, most of them are kind of uninteresting, uninspired, um, fashion-type stuff, which doesn't really doesn't really bring anything new to the table. To my mind, a collaboration has to be both parties bringing something together, something they do better than pretty much anyone, and creating something more than the two parts would otherwise have been. And so it is with this one and another collaboration which I'm going to do a video on later. Now, this one, could you even tell it was a barber? It's waxed, but it doesn't really look like barbers as you know them. And the reason for that is that this one is from their collaboration with Savile Row Taylor, Norton and Sons. If you're not familiar with Norton and Sons, it is owned by Patrick Grant darling of uh, British media, uh, judge of the sewing bee, uh, pretty much the saviour of British uh, garment industry, and a crackingly handsome fellow at that. I won't say a bad word about Patrick, I'd love him to have him on the podcast. He a, appears to be a great bloke, and uh, Norton and Sons, his little hobby tailor on Savile Row, which in the case of this collaboration made a few jackets with Barber. They did some other knitwear and stuff, which is of little consequence. You occasionally see it for sale on eBay and stuff. But the jackets were absolute stone-cold crackers. Now, when I bought this, I actually bought it in the factory shop in South Shields, which is worth a visit if you're in the area. Um, great prices, immense selection, and it's right next door to the factory itself, so it's sort of for a barber enthusiast, it's it's a big deal. Uh, when I bought this, uh, apart from the guy selling me it, admitting that he'd been a DJ in my hometown of Tromsø back in the 90s, when I lived there, 80s, 90s, uh, he'd mentioned how Barber had had to upgrade a bunch of sewing machines to actually sew this fabric because it's so heavy. Now, feeling it now, yeah, definitely canvas-like. And it was, um, when I bought it, well, when they made them, there was talk about it being s impregnated with soy wax, I think it was. Now, I've not been able to confirm this later on, but it has always had this sort of kind of funky, different smell to it. Now, this one really could do with a re-wax. It's getting a bit dry, but it looks great, so I probably won't. Uh, but it still has that unique smell. And of course, it's really nice and thick and surprisingly different. Maybe it looks a bit more like a Carhartt or American workwear. But it still has that wonderful, wonderful velvet uh, collar. Feels great. And uh, it is basically a pretty simple jacket. You've got the, the cuffs with adjustment. You've got extra protection here against fraying, which really all oh, Barbers should have all wax jackets because they all fray at their cuffs sooner or later. And it's got two front pockets with leather strengthenings here. This is actually a well made jacket and uh, great details. And uh, a tartan line pocket. Really nice hidden, hidden front buttons apart from the top one. Buttons could actually have been a bit nicer. The, I don't know if they're horn or plastic, but they just look a bit cheap. And apart from the cinches at the side to give it a more tailored fit, if you have a body for that, um, there's not much going on around the back either. Just a, a small split, which actually now I notice it is has got a button here, so you can open it up wider. 
in case you were riding a pony or a motorbike or something. So, if we put the collar up, obligatory storm tab, which uh, covers pretty well really, and you can see it just looks like a really proper jacket. Now, if we do up the buttons, no, undo the buttons I mean, um, nice uh, cotton lining and uh, it's got sort of uh, big pockets on the inside and a smaller one. The smaller one is actually a bit, bit useless because it's so uh, so shallow that there's not much uh, not much there for it. Um, and a slightly bigger pocket on the other side. Again with the leather strengthenings, which is a lovely touch. And we also see that the, the buttons are fastened with a button on the back here so they don't tear through. Thoughtful. I mean, that's, that's considerate design. So, um, anything more we should be noticing here? It's got the Barber and Norton and Sons of Savile Row. Now this is a medium, which uh, when I'm feeling a bit slim fits me nicely, um, and it's got the cotton lining, which uh, all in all, I think they could have made a lot more of these. And there's another longer version of it, which I've been on the lookout for for years now, without finding one of. So uh, this collaboration, very good. Um, the other collaboration. I'll get back to that one, but that's also a good one, and also a lot more pieces. Though I, I sadly only have a couple of them. So um, there you go, Barber and Norton and Sons. A good collaboration. Uh, if you'd like to get in touch, my email is garmology at welldressdad.com. If you'd like to uh, visit the blog, do that, welldressdad.com. And there's the Garmology podcast, currently up to 46 episodes or so. So, until next time, bye-bye and enjoy your outerwear.